This example deals with an account that has continuously compounded interest, but in this example we are given the future value that we want to have in four years and asked what present value we need to hit that goal. So specifically it asks how much will you need to deposit today at 5.3% compounded continuously in order to have $6,300 in four years. So we're still using the continuous compound interest formula, but now F, the future value is given, R is given, T is given, and P is the unknown that we're going to solve for, the present value, the money that we have today. So the future value we're given is 6300 P again is unknown, R is 5.3%, so 0 0.053, and T is 4, because we're planning for four years. So to solve for P, first we need to figure out what E to the 0 0.053 times 4 is, and then divide both sides by that. So calculating E raised to the power of 0 0.053 times 4, that is 1.236, etc. And then again to solve for P, we divide 6300 by that answer. So 6300 divided by, and then I use second and the minus button to pull up the previous answer rather than retyping it in and rounding it off. And I find that the present value that's needed to grow to 6300 in four years is $5,096.48. So that's the answer, that P is $5,096.48.